Hey, what's up guys? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a highly anticipated player review. We're going to be talking about the in-form position change, Yannick Balassi. So, balassi has been moved from a left-sided player to a central player, a default central attacking midfielder. But one of the first things a lot of people will do, including myself, is move him straight up to striker. He's 80 rated overall with 89 pace, 85 dribbling and 75 shooting. He's also got 80 physical, but the best part about this guy is his 5-star skill moves and 4 star weak foot. BPL teams are very popular in Ultimate Team this year. So if you come up against Balassi, especially with his difficult to link nation, you're most likely going to be coming up against a full BPL side. With that in mind, this is what I've got for you today, a 4-3-2-1 with the likes of Hazard, Inform Barkley, and of course, Yaya Torre. But I tried to be a little bit more creative with the team that I actually used him in. I played him in a 4-2 side with the likes of Pogba and the new second Inform Higuain in this 4-2 side. So it is in-game stats time. If you're watching on YouTube, then check that first link in the description. It will take you to Balassi's page on the site where you can see his in-games. 90 acceleration, 88 dribbling, and 89 shot power will be the three stats that I choose um, which really stand out for me in terms of him in game but unlike most player reviews I do uh, the first few clips you're seeing here are not actually goals these are some of the negatives about Balassi I found that he blew very very hot and cold and he seemed to miss when he was in front of goal a lot of the time. Don't get me wrong, he could get himself into those positions, but managing to get it past the goalkeeper or inside the posts really was a struggle for him. I was actually quite disappointed that I got through so many times on goal, but the keeper would manage to come out on top or he would literally stick it wide of the post. But those are the negative sides of Balassi. He does have some very good positives. His pace is blistering. You'll most likely find him through on goal, past the defenders, but as we mentioned before, sometimes he won't be able to stick it in the back of the net, but he does get himself those opportunities. His physical is also very impressive. He's a very strong player. He's also relatively tall as well. It keeps those defenders off his back. They can't quite catch him, and if they do catch him, well, they're most likely not going to be able to push him off the ball. And for such a tall, strong, quick man, he's got some very, very good skills. And of course, you can do every single skill in the game with him because he has the full five-star skills. Now, not being a very good skiller myself, it's difficult to utilize that. You can definitely use him as the sweaty, pacey, physical kind of player, but just make sure you have someone next to him who knows how to stick the ball in the back of the net. Overall, a very mixed review, actually, for Yannick Balassi this week. He was my most anticipated in form for this week, and I've got to say, I'm relatively disappointed. I hope you guys have actually found this very useful and now have an understanding of whether or not you think Yannick Balassi will actually fit into your ultimate team. Your feedback in the comments is always appreciated. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.